tell. Okay, so my name is Ben, and I'm I'm going to be a lab rat, but we're going to do two divided by eight and clock eleven. So, and we're going to do it by the inverse. So, if I guess two divided by eight and clock eleven is the same as two and clock eleven times the inverse of eight. And so, to find the inverse of eight, we want to find out what yields the multiplicative inverse, or one, identity. identity, what yields the identity. So two, or eight in clock 11 times what equals one. So what we do is we'll go out to the side, eight times two equals 16, and then divide by 11, 11 goes into this once with a remainder of Five. And then eight times three is twenty-four. Eleven goes into this twice with twenty-two, but it has a remainder of two. Eight times four equals thirty-two. And then eleven goes into this um, two times with a remainder of. Ten? Ten? Yeah, that's right. And then eight times five equals forty. And it goes into this three times with a remainder of seven. Is that right? That's right here. And then eight times six equals sixty-four. Ten times six is Oh, I'm sorry. Um, 4 times, which we need to four. So we haven't reached 1 yet, we're looking for 1. 8 times 7 equals 54. 50. 56. Okay. And then 11 goes into this 5 times with the remainder of 1. And since we found the remainder of 1, then we know that 7 is going to be the multiplicative inverse of 8 on 11. So then we rewrite this and we can say that um, oh wait, no. Yeah, two times, so the multiplicative inverse of eight is seven. And if this is the same, then we can say seven equals what? And then Go ahead and do the multiplication now. Two times, oh yeah, so 2 times 7 is 14. And then 11 goes into that once with the remainder of 3. And since 3 is, or since the remainder is all that we're, that we're looking for, then 3 is the answer. Oh.